It is tough to ever look at our fine feathered friends the same way after seeing that movie. And I'm back with Mo Rocca, an Emmy Award winning writer and a presidential history buff. Mo is this month's guest programmer here on TCM. He chose the movie we just showed. A good movie. A good movie, that is. Yeah. Uh, you know, I should point out in that diner scene, which I love so much, the mother. I mean, you're scaring the children. You're scaring the children. Remember that, that, that character? Right. She's modeling very bad parenting because she's showing her kids how afraid she is of the birds that are coming to kill them all. So one shouldn't do that? I think she probably freaked those kids out, and the kids are probably traumatized for life now. Now, talk about your presidential yeah. history buff. Uh, you covered the elections in 2000, right? For I did. I've covered elections for The Daily Show, for The Tonight Show, for Larry King on CNN. Um, but I love the old presidents that you can't remember were actually president. The guys between Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt, they've all got a lot of facial hair. A couple of them were knocked off by anarchists. They're mostly from Ohio, like Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield, uh, people like Chester Allen Arthur, who was actually from Vermont, but was probably born in Canada anyway. But those are the ones that I find more interesting. And why? Because I found that growing up in the Washington, D.C. area and being exposed to places like Mount Vernon and Monticello, you know, those are places that when you walk into them, you're already in awe. But who works, volunteers their time at the Benjamin Harrison House in Indianapolis um, or the Rutherford B. Hayes House in Fremont, Ohio? That's interesting to me. People who are keeping what I call marginalized history alive. And I really admire those people. Um, who knew that Rutherford B. Hayes is a big hero in Paraguay because he helped negotiate a treaty for them? Kids in Paraguay named their kids Rutherford still. Wow. Rutherford. Did you ever <laughs> want to get into politics? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe I'd want to be, a, maybe I'd want to be an alderman because it sounds kind of, I don't know, sort of old fashioned and I don't know what an alderman does. But it sounds kind of stately or yeah. civic-minded. Or You might want to check out what they do first. Maybe. Yeah, and then yeah. go for it. Yeah. I'd love to be a whip. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, it sounds kind of exciting. It does. It does. Right up your alley. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've got them in Congress. Yeah. Some Majority. Your, yeah. yeah. That'd be a good job for you. It really would. Thanks. Yes. Moving on. Stay with us. Mo's going to be back to talk about another one of his picks for tonight. This one stars Al Pacino in one of his most iconic roles. Attica, Attica. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Mo Rocca closes out his stint as guest programmer with Dog Day Afternoon. Then Peggy Cummins and John Dahl are more than a little gun crazy. And Esther Williams kicks up her heels in Bathing Beauty. TCM and Warner Brothers Home Entertainment present Doris Day, The Essential Collection. This is gonna be fun. Take a trip with Doris Day in this 15 film collection of her most celebrated films. Let the classic American girl charm her way into your heart and home as she travels from adventure to romance. Don't stop me now. And this golden voice darling has everyone singing a tune from the small towns to the big city of Chicago. This is a surprise. Whether she's on Broadway or traveling the high seas, see why Doris Day remains one of Hollywood's most beloved icons. Would it be wrong if I said I loved you? It would be wrong if you didn't. Classic film and Doris Day fans will delight with Doris Day, The Essential Collection. 15 of her most popular films for just one low price. Well, this is my big moment. Doris Day, The Essential Collection. Available now at shop.tcm.com or call 1-888-9-TCM-SHOP. Gregory Peck.